Hey YouTube, me again with another YouTube video. I am Mr. Ninja Warrior. Others might know me as Makarov Yakovic, and others know me as Blue Jay the Meister. Um, today, I will be debuting, well, it's not really debuting because I've already done a video for it, but um, this is my Glock 31. I started doing videos like this, and I figured it'd be easier to do a video like this with a uh, gun because I have both hands, since my camera is sitting down over there. Which means I can now activate the slide lock when I want to, so I don't have to uh, say any stupid crap whenever I'm doing it. So I'm going to redo the review of the Glock 31 and give you guys a little bit of some information about this weapon. So this is the Glock 31. It is chambered for 357 Magnum or 357 Smith & Wesson. I'm not really sure which one it is. Uh, they're kind of different, but kind of similar at the same time. This is the standard 15-round magazine. It also comes in an optional 17-round magazine. Here you have the slide lock. See the little gray piece right here? That's the slide lock. It's got an internal rubber band that uh, activates the slide. Therefore, when I push it back, it goes forward on its own. I'd also like to point out at this moment that the entire uh, lower receiver, otherwise known as this, um, the pistol grip, the trigger guard, and the trigger itself are all designs by Snuggle. Um, he released them in his Beretta, yeah, Beretta 23R, others know you as the B23R from Black Ops 2, but um, that's where I got the instructions for the lower receiver from. I simply took um, and replicated it and then added a different frame and a different slide to it. So I have to give him credit for the um, handguard and lower receiver design because I just like giving credit to the people that deserve it. If you excuse me one second please. Sorry about that, I just had to send a quick reply to someone that I'm talking to on uh, Facebook. He's a good friend of mine, we're talking about school. We just got our schedules today, we go back uh, Monday, and that's our first day of school, and then videos should drop off during that time. They might also increase, it just depends on how much homework I have. I did get a lot of AP classes, even if I am a junior, but um, yeah. So as you can see, I have the slide lock, or the yeah, the slide locked into position using the slide lock on this side. It is showing you the barrel that sticks out, and also there is a small circle right there. That is right there. As you can see, it kind of fits around the slide. It uh, acts as a guide for the slide itself. It is actually the only thing on this model that keeps the slide going where it is. Uh, the entire internal design is completely different from what I would like it to be, but uh, I had to work with a limited number of bricks, so that's what I got. And uh, as you can see, like I said before, it's got an internal magazine. My hand is over here. The only thing on this side is my thumb, and it clicks forward like so. Uh, it uses a red rubber band from LEGO. And as you can see, the shell ejection port has a little notch cut out in it, and it turns gray whenever you pull the slide back. I forgot I had the magazine out of it. My bad. So if you don't know what a slide block is, this little thing right here, basically whenever you empty all the rounds in your magazine, the slide will stop here, and then you reload. So whenever you reload, you release your slide block and the slide chambers another round. Basically, it saves you from doing another action to slow down your reload. Uh, let's say the slide lock wasn't there and I ran out of bullets. Now, after reloading, I also have to cock the weapon again. So, there was an extra movement there that could have cost me my life. Sorry, I had to pick up a piece that kind of fell off the lower receiver. So an extra move that cost me in my life. Well, let's say the slide lock is in. Hair, man, hair everywhere. Especially in Legos. 
slide lock is in and I just reloaded. Now all I gotta do is do that instead of cock the entire slide and I'm good to go. So it's just a little speedy way to uh, reload again and I kinda like it. Anyhow, the iron sights look like that. Two, or two orange squares and then a red dot at the uh, top of the slide. As you can see the back sights, front sights, kind of like night sights to be honest. Um, pretty cool. Uh, now then, I originally planned on making the trigger work on this model. Uh, however, I kind of forgot about it while working on it and mistakenly didn't put it on. So when I finished it and I was looking at it, I was like, oh crap, I forgot to put a trigger on it. So I just had to borrow Snuggles design, and this isn't what the trigger works like. The trigger is just a normal uh, pull trigger, but I kind of forgot to put it on while I was working on it, and I planned on putting one on, but um, yeah, I kind of forgot. So this is what I'm going on. Uh, the other very good news that I wanted to tell you guys right after I take a sip of this power wave. Ah, uh, good stuff, Strawberry Limited. Other good news I want to tell you guys, I'm going to be making instructions for this model right after this video. So, I'm going to upload this video, and then right after this one there should be instructions for the Glock 31. Um, if you guys want the instructions, go check it out. There are going to be a video of me hand-building all the parts for you as best I can. I might actually forget how to do it, considering I'm going to tear it down. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I just mind blowing news on the internet. Um, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Remember to check out the instructions I'm about to make for this video if you want to see them. If you don't, that's not my problem. You guys just don't want to see the instructions. Uh, comment below if you have any weapon suggestions for me. If not, whatever. Uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.